Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Dust Force. Dust Force is a game by Hitbox, and the prototype for this was actually made in Game Maker quite some time ago. But this is a brand new engine they developed themselves, and this game is a little odd. Let me put it that way. For what I can tell, this game is a precision platformer. By precision platform, I'm talking kind of super meat boy, a little bit I want to be the guy in places. Not quite as difficult, but with an emphasis on two things, high score and speed running. Now this is becoming increasingly popular on both consoles and PC lately, I'm noticing, as a genre of games that people are enjoying. And in this case, you are a cleaner, for whatever reason, part of the so-called dust force, and you're going to go through various levels whereby you have to clean up as much of the dust and dirt, which is mostly apparently fallen dead leaves, through the levels in order to actually gain a high score. But you've also got to do so in a particularly short amount of time. It's rather interesting, to say the least. So, let me try and show you exactly what it's all about. I've done the tutorial, and I also had a little bit of a bash at this level, so I'm going to head on in here. Now, you have a chance of choosing one f one of these guys here. I'm going to choose the old guy, I think, with the vacuum cleaner. That seems reasonable. All right, off we go. Let's go clean some stuff, I guess. Yes, or whatever it is that you're supposed to do in this game. So you have an attack, a, you've got a light attack and you've got a heavy attack. I screwed that up completely, incidentally. You can attack various objects, which tends to involve releasing small mammals. Who knows why that actually is? Maybe if I do a big attack there, there we go. Okay, so that's how you optimize that. You can also do a slide, and there's also an area of effect attack that you can build up. Kind of like that, but I screwed it up completely, so... Probably not a good run of that level. Let's see what kind of score I got. The only people that are currently on the scoreboard are the journalists that got a hold of this. So I'm rather upset because I'm pretty sure I'm behind Botherer for Rock, Paper, Shotgun. That's something that needs to change immediately. Actually, has he played this level? I'm fairly sure he played the first one. Where is he? Oh, I'm behind Northern Lion. That's absolutely unacceptable. Got to do something about that. In fact, I'm very close to the bottom. That was a particularly bad run. Now, as you can see here, you can also load up a replay to have a look at exactly what's going on. And I assume the purpose of this, from the very outset, is to allow you to very easily record your runs without any problem. Because from what I can see, the aim of this is for it to kind of not so much be a viral YouTube sensation, but one of those games that gains popularity as a result of a lot of YouTube videos. Prime example would be, say... Let's, let me have a think. Audio Surf. Audio Surf is a good example. I want to be the guy is a good example. I'd like to also point out, if I recall correctly, that you can look at other people's replays. So let's look at the top guy, see how he did. So you can use this in order to copy their style, and I think this looks like an absolute perfect run. Indeed it is. That terrifies me. So that's how you do this level completely, and that's how you get the best combo in the fastest time. And that's how you free all the beavers! Which apparently is the aim of the game. Alright, I'm gonna give that another try. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Alright, up to the top, slide down. Oh, well, I screwed that up. If you hit R twice, you can restart it, which, once again, it seems to be a common feature of these precision style platformers that are designed around ah god damn it wrong button Ugh. well i balked that up already the controls do take quite a bit of getting used to they are designed with a keyboard in mind this is no console port so that's something to consider there but i just i end up pressing the wrong keys a lot of the time i also haven't got a good enough combo there in order to do my aoe at the right time so yeah i didn't do all that well there what does that put me? A and S, yeah. My ranking is still awful. Absolutely awful. Let's give it another try. Let's see if I can remember the right keys this time. All right. Well, screwed that up completely. Oh, God. You know what? I, I'm really bad at these kind of games. If you hadn't already realized, I was terrible at Meat Boy. I'm terrible at pretty much every precision platformer that I can think of. Oh, I missed that. That's wonderful. Missed that. Missed that. Got stuck on that. And God, it's irritating. Uh, all right. Up to the top. Down we go. Okay. Uh, did we miss a bit of dust? I don't think we did, actually. So that's good. Okay. Nope. Missed it. Great. Great. Uh, 
This is only one of the first levels as well. It gets even more ridiculous the further you go on here. So that should scare the hell out of you. I missed the jump, screwed it up. and You know what? I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I absolutely hate it. This is going to be like me and Meat Boy and say, you know, I hated that game as well. And it's mostly because I'm bad at it. That That's what you... That's what you have to actually understand. Is that because I'm bad at these kind of games, I do not have a lot of fun in them at all. God, missed that as well. How do I screw up this much? It's unbelievable. All right. Okay, down the slope again, right? Yes, good, 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 as it should be. Yep, we haven't missed any of that. Okay, jump, smack, slide. Jump on the top. Oh, missed that and buggered it up once again. Haven't screwed it up too much, but I haven't got my combo as high as it needs to be. Slowed that down more than I should have. Ugh. And I can't even do my AoE at the right time, so... Ugh. I'm awful at these games. I didn't even gain anything from that. I think I actually went down in rank. <laughs> and it's going to annoy me because I want to do better, but I don't manage it. I screw it up too freaking much. All right, smack that. Down it goes. Okay, up to that side. Press down. Okay, cool. Up there. Yep. Down. Okay, this is better. Hey, anyway. All right, that's a much better ranking. There we go. It's not top, but... And that actually got me a key. I assume I did that by getting a really high rank. So there we go. That takes me up to 12. So screw you, Northern Lion, and all the other guys below me. There we go. That's actually not a bad ranking. And no doubt, by the time this comes out on the 17th, Everything's going to be blown away. My, my ranking's going to be the bottom. The absolute bottom of everything. It'll be the worst thing in the world. Frustrated Fury sounds about accurate. Ugh. Good lord. Oh, that's a PC gamer guy. Ha! Did better than you. By a fraction of a fraction of a second. Ah. All right. Actually, I don't want to retry that at all. So let's exit the level. So I think you you understand the principle there, and I call it a precision platform because that's exactly what is required in order to be really good at this game. There are various things that you probably didn't see, and I'll have to explain to you. What the? I don't even know who that hell that guy is. Let's go over there. Yes, yes, you will, because just what I want is a harder freaking level. We'll try that in a moment. So. The controls are deceptively simple, but they do take a lot of getting used to. They use the cursor keys, and you use Z, X, C, and control. Yeah? Control is a dash, as you can see right there. Z is a jump. X is light attack, which is spammable, and C is a heavy attack. You then put X and C together once you start getting a blur around you, so you've charged up your super meter by getting enough of a combo, a dirt cleaning up combo, a dust force combo, if you will, and then you can do an AoE, which is the way to efficiently beat that level. However, that's not all, because your directions, depending on what you hit, actually matter too. For instance, I can run on walls there. I can actually run on ceilings if I do it properly. So say I were to double jump onto that ceiling, I can then run down there and go from there. You can also then combo it into a wide variety of different moves, such as dashes. You can hold down to go into a slide, which will gain you some momentum. The actual movement system is incredibly fluid. And that's quite surprising because... If you look at a game like Super Meat Boy, that game was designed with controllers in mind. It says at the start, you won't play this properly if you don't have a controller. This actually manages to do it with the keyboard, which is extremely impressive. It does not require analog movement. In fact, it seems to benefit from digital movement. That's what you get when you design a game with a PC in mind. This kind of stuff will actually end up happening. And the amount of precision and speed you're going to be able to get if you put a lot of practice in will be absolutely phenomenal. All right, let's try something harder. I have a silver key so I can unlock the overgrown temple. This sounds like an awful idea. All right. Oh, yes, there are spikes. So, yes, it wants me to clean that. It, it wants me to clean that. Look at that. Well, you can thankfully clean it by shooting it. So that's something to consider. You don't necessarily have to. I, that isn't even funny. Okay. I didn't even clean the whole thing. Let's restart. All right. So if I do a heavy attack, that should clean that all out. Then go up the top of there. Take on that. There are spikes all over the place. Touching a spike is instant death. It will restart the level and you will be in horrible pain, suffering and agony. And just trying to get those jumps is so tricky. And also avoiding the spikes on the ground. Very much, very much, I want to be the guy. Very much super meat boy. Very much insufferable agony. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> I wasn't even close to it. At least I thought I wasn't even close to it. Think about the amount of optimization you're going to have to have and the amount of times you're going to have to replay a level. It's funny because these precision platformers actually have an absurd amount of replayability as a result of how often you have to replay a level in order to get a sodding perfect score. Ugh. Jeez. And you know what? I This is not a genre of game that I am a fan of. I'm not very good at it. I accept that I'm not very good at it. It is not my kind of thing. I will not play the same level 5,000 times over in a game like this in order to get maximum score. In fact, I would rather kill myself. That's not true. I'm not a suicidal kind of person. In fact, I'm very happy, which most people probably don't realize. I'm an extremely happy person, IRL, until I get flattened by this bastard. There we go. Okay, you have been cleaned, good sir. Cleaned. And then you think, oh god, how do I optimize this? And then you consider that someone's probably done this level and optimized it to the point where they can do it like a minute or less. And then you think, I will never be this good. And I suddenly landed on spikes and had to reset that part. And my combo goes and then everyone gets horribly upset about it. It's like, you're terrible at platformers. Like, I know, it's not my fault. I don't have the time to practice this nonsense. When the hell would I get the time to play video games in my career path? really now oh no uh, leave me alone i'm just trying to clean i'm just trying to clean i'm being environmentally conscious get over here yeah that's what i'm talking about yeah don't you sneer at me like that i'll cause horrible things to happen to you and your rock family ah be cleaned by my might be cleansed and purified deliberate spoonerisms here we go Spoonerisms are fantastic. Stop flattening me. Get get back here. Oh, you. Why is it even jumping around? Th this is a silver level. This is a silver level. This, this is one of the easier silver levels. This is one of the first silver levels you unlock. There are gold levels. There are gold levels. There's going to be a level editor as well. That's coming soon. It's not in the game yet. And I finished the level. Now I want to see who's kicked my ass. I am 29 at 49. I'm actually not that bad. My finesse was D, but I got an S completion. Hitbox Matt. This guy, this guy works for the company. He did this in 31 seconds. Let's watch how he did it, shall we? Okay, so there's that. De oh, good lord. This guy's incredible. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. How unbelievably good he actually is at this. And the funny thing is, this isn't even optimal. He could have actually got an extra half second there. Someone's going to do this better. When this game comes out, somebody's going to do this better. And that terrifies me that someone is going to be practicing so hard to get this good at this game. It's going to happen because that is what this game is designed for. That is what games like this are designed for. To play to that level of perfection. They are precision platformers. I'll go as far as to say that they are designed entirely around the idea of score attacks and speed runs. That terrifies me. But I would like to point out a few things, like how sodding gorgeous this game is. The art design is minimalistic and fantastic. I love the flat shading that they're doing here. It's almost cell shaded and it works really, really well. The style they've put together looks incredible. Remember, folks, it's not just about graphical fidelity, it's about aesthetic. It's about deliberate choices from the designers as to what they wanted their game to look like. And they wanted their game to look like this, and they pulled it off magnificently. I died again, didn't I? Yes, yes, I did. I think that should be blindingly sodding obvious. I can't even get up any momentum. I'm just too terrible. There we go. We saved the beaver and killed ourselves in the process. All right. There we go. Do a dash over there. No, I missed. I missed. Oh, I, I assume this guy is actually not any faster or slower than the other dudes. I'm assuming not. I, I'm so bad at games like this. I really, really am. It. I would like to be embarrassed, but honestly, I couldn't care less at this stage. I really couldn't. I'll never be competitive at this game. I understand that. I, I, I'm not really having a lot of fun with it. But here's the thing. The most important thing to do when giving first impressions of a game is to not allow your dislike of a genre to get in the way of your assessment of the game. It's called objectivity. And from an objective perspective, this game is beautifully designed. It really, really is. It is gorgeous. The sound design is amazing. The music is wonderful. It's, it's a very odd concept. It's 
abstract. I mean, why am I doing this? I have no idea. I have no idea why I'm doing this. It doesn't stop. It doesn't seem to make an awful lot of sense. Why, why, why is, why do we have to clean this? I don't know. And you're not actually kind of proud that I just pulled that off. You know, that, it's the little things. It's the little things that make you feel like you're doing just a little bit better than you really are. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, it, it shoots at me. What? How does dust fire? Is that a evil hedgehog dust creature? I don't even know what that is. It scares the... Oh. It's like, hey, I'm being fancy. Nope. Absolutely not. Uh, I, I would love to know how someone else has done at this level. And this is These are some of the basic levels as well. Some people are going to design fiendish, fiendish stuff for this game. They really, really are. Once the level editor comes out, that terrifies me. Anyway, back to the point that I was trying to make is that it doesn't matter if you personally hate the genre. If you want to give an accurate assessment, then you've... It's a bear. It's a sodding bear. That seems a little bit happier now that I've cleaned it off. If you want to give an accurate assessment of a game, you have to be as objective as humanly possible and try and disconnect your personal dislike of the genre from what you're doing on your actual playthrough. It's like, is there anything objectively wrong that is preventing me from enjoying this game? No, there isn't. The controls are tight as hell. They really, really are incredibly tight. The aesthetic, the art design, the direction of the game, the sound design, the music, everything is awesome. It is a tight, well-designed, slick package. It seems to have a lot of content if you're into speedrunning precision platformers. And I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. But it's a brilliant looking game and it's a brilliant playing game. It plays wonderfully well. And some people are gonna have an immense amount of fun with this title. It's incredible just how well it's been put together and how tight they've managed to get it. Considering the prototype was made in Game Maker, they then went and made their own engine because they realized, you know what, Game Maker's not going to give us the precision that we actually require in order to make this game as good as we want it to be. That's some dedication, ladies and gentlemen. It really, really is. There's nothing half assed about this game. Not a damn thing. And I hate it. <laughs> I goddamn hate it. But it's okay. Because that doesn't mean the game is bad. Oh, wow. This, get, this one actually has feather dusters. There we go. All right. Off we go. Actually, maybe. Just maybe. It's, actually, it's possible that this... These different characters have different abilities. I'm not sure. She seems to have like slightly lower range than the guy with the vacuum cleaner. That is a possibility. Bollocks. Turns out that was a spike. You know what's bad? Spikes. All right. Save the forest. Ah. It's like a more hygienic version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Save the forest animals. Let's get up here and then we can get a slide going on to give us just a little bit of... Jumping into the spikes is really smart, isn't it, Total Biscuit? Incredibly smart. All right, what else is in this package? Well, there is a multiplayer mode. This may very well be disappointing to some... Why did I do that? People. Ugh. This is catchphrases interrupt us. I can tell you that for a fact. It's way more than that. There is a multiplayer mode. It is local only, which is not so good. It is local only. That doesn't mean LAN. That, so you can't play it on Hamachi. Local as in same computer only. So once again, it is something that some indie devs do have problems with because netcode takes quite a lot of work. It's difficult, especially for someone that doesn't have any experience in it to create netcode. And I don't blame developers for not putting netcode in their game initially. There are plenty of really awesome companies that didn't, and they did so for a very good reason. Like for instance, Frozen Bite with Trine. First one, they weren't able to do it. They managed it with trying to, and the game is a hell of a lot better for it. But you can't necessarily expect all indie devs to be able to do that, especially when you've got such precision involved in this game. Having dodgy netcode would be kill the game completely. That would be horrible. So that's definitely something to consider there. But it is a little bit of a black mark on the purchase because you're not going to get all that much enjoyment out of it if you're looking for a multiplayer mode that is not just local only. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, God, this is difficult. Ah, it's all spikes. Why would it all be spikes? Of all the... Oh, I hate you so much, Dust Force. 
Why would it all be spikes? It's all spikes, folks. It is all spikes. It is out to hurt you. It's out to hurt you. Just like Meat Boy. Just like sodding Meat Boy. <sighs> It seems like such a Zen Khan game if you look at the way that the art is designed and you listen to the wonderful music in the background. And in reality, it makes you want to kill everything. Die, bear. Be dusted. <sighs> Dust Force, ladies and gentlemen. You will be into it if you love precision platformers. If you enjoyed Meat Boy, Dust Force is for you. If you enjoyed I Want to Be the Guy and you're some kind of masochist, then Dust Force will be for you. Anything that involves speedrunning, precision, and of course, showing off on YouTube. Yeah, you're going to love it. Me? I never want to play it again. But it's great. And I hate it. Objectivity. Subjectivity. A short lesson in pain. My name's been Total Biscuits. Dust Force, currently available. I believe it's currently available anyway. Depends when this video actually goes out. It's coming out on the 17th on Steam. Go check it out. Go and have a look. See what is there. You might find something wonderful. Or infuriating. Or perhaps a bit of both. I'll see you next time.